Hello everyone, this is Edge with new news today and in today's video we are unboxing a SafePal hardware wallet with a little bit of assistance from my wife's hands. First thing we're going to do today is have a little look inside the box and show you what is included, starting with the device itself. As you can see it's about the size of a credit card, though a little bit thicker, has a camera on the back here which will be used to sign transactions via scanning QR codes. That's actually the only way this device can do any communications, there's no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or anything like that, you have to do it through QR codes which was a limitation put in place to help improve the security of the device. We also receive an included micro USB cable used for charging and updating the firmware. So here we have the QR codes for the SafePal companion app and the user manual. We also receive three of these mnemonic phrase sheets that allow you to write down your seed words, which are very important, allow you to recover your wallet if there's any problem with the device. There's also a microfiber cloth included, which is a nice touch because it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Now we're not going to go into any explanation of how to set up the device, there's lots of good material on that already in the user guide available on the SafePal website, as well as in a video they've already produced. We'll link to both of those in the description, so instead we'll be looking at how to actually send and receive assets using the companion app. So let's go ahead and do that now. So once you've got the companion app and your hardware wallet paired together, it's relatively easy to do any transactions. So the first thing we're going to do here is use the O3 wallet on the right to scan this receiving public address, just a normal new address that you would expect to see anywhere else. And we're going to go ahead and send one gas across so that we can then send it back and show you how the signing procedure works. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we go ahead and refresh and we can see there that we now have one gas. So let's go ahead and send that back to show you how the signing process actually works. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and scan this QR code that'll uh, allow us to easily enter our receiving address there. One quite nice feature about this wallet is that you can actually denominate your transactions in a fiat currency of your choice, such as USD. But for now, let's go ahead and just do a transfer of one gas. So here the confirmation pops up and we now need to use the hardware wallet itself to sign this transaction. Remember the SafePal wallet is actually storing your private key. So this is what you will need when you do any transfers. So we'll go ahead and select scan and scan that QR code. May need to give it a second to focus and change up the angle a little bit, but it works reasonably quickly. When you do your device setup, you will make yourself a PIN code. That's how you will log into your device, essentially. We'll go ahead and enter that, and that will allow us to sign the transaction. Now, once that transaction is signed, that does not mean that the transaction has been broadcast. Remember, this is a completely offline device. So what we're going to need to do is scan this dynamic QR code here, which will allow us to broadcast the transaction. You can actually step through the different QR codes by using the arrows on the display. But if not, you can just hold it until it manages to scan them like so. And there we are. Hit confirm and that will broadcast our transaction on the chain. And then we should receive our one gas back. So reasonably simple to use and a relatively quick process. There's not much faffing around with it. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully you all enjoyed this quick look at the SafePal. Thank you to the team for sending one across for us to take a look at. If you'd like to learn any more about this wallet, New News Today has already put up some coverage which goes into a little bit more detail about the various security features and anti-tampering mechanisms that they have built into this device. So that's all for now. Thank you all once again for watching and we'll see you next time.